When I shake the camera, it looks like this. But now, when I turn the camera left and right, Rocksteady in D-Warp mode, it's an equivalent to 15mm on full frame. DJI Action 5 Pro. I'm using it together with the DJI Mic 2 at 32-bit float recording, which is really incredible compared to the usual Bluetooth connections which we were able to establish between Ace Pro and the DJI Mic 2 because this is like just low-resolution Bluetooth supporting also Bluetooth, supporting at, the Bluetooth at the same time. So, very so, nice, very nice. Whereas this one here comes really at 32-bit float. This is a difference like day and night. Standard mode D-Warp, no image stabilization. When I shake the camera, it looks like this. And also, I can change the angles in all directions. This is the wide mode with no image stabilization. When I shake the camera, it looks like this. And of course, I can also change the angles. And uh, this is ultra wide, basically the same as before. Image, uh, like there is no stabilization whatsoever. And uh, when I change uh, the camera's direction, it will also react to this. This is now rock steady in D warp mode. It's an equivalent to 15 millimeter on a full frame lens. And when I shake the camera, it looks like this. I can still bend it into all directions. This is rock steady in wide mode, equivalent of 12 millimeter on full frame. I'm going to shake the camera. It looks like this. And basically also I can turn the image. I can still turn the image. And this is like rock steady in ultra wide. Basically, this is like an 11 millimeters full frame equivalent. And I'm going to shake the camera. And as you can see, we can still bend the image into all directions. This is rock steady plus in D warp mode. Basically, 17 millimeter. I'm going to shake the camera. It looks like this, and we can still bend the image. This is Rocksteady Plus in wide mode. Again, they say 17 millimeter equivalent. Basically, when I shake the camera, it looks like this, and then I can still bend the image, of course. And this is Rocksteady Plus in ultra wide. They again say 17 millimeter focal length equivalent, which completely doesn't make sense to me anyhow. This is when I'm shaking the camera, and we can still bend, as you see, the image. So this is horizon balancing in D-Warp, so to say standard mode, they again say 17 millimeter focal length equivalent. Funny enough, I can still shake the camera and it looks like this, but now when I turn the camera left and right, suddenly I will stay in the center unless I go over 45 degree and then it's turning into such a vertical mode, which we don't need here in this context. And by the way, this horizon balancing, it's the same like maybe a horizon steady with the Insta360 action cams. And I just want to say that in all these modes, also you can click here uh, down right and and then you have like a zoom function and you can with these DJI's you can really zoom in and nicely and smoothly whereas with the Ace Pro you can just kind of like click it and then you will be like two times zoom and back so this is a difference regarding the action 5 but you can also do it with the 4 and 3 and so on even with action 2 I think